Here they come. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, we have to pay our respects every time to the soundtrack. You can't play the game without doing that. All right, in we go. We are 96 hours through the game, if anyone's just joining. I have taken my time. I'm exploring everything and trying to find any little secrets that may have been added since early access. The music of my people. Hello, Obi, welcome on in. Ah, it's so good. I just sit there and listen to that theme every time I enter the game. I'm not gonna lie, the first time I booted this game, I opened that main page and then just started sobbing. Ah, this is where we are. I see, I see. We interrupted some interesting hanky-panky that was going on in the shed between this gentleman and, and, and this lady. They were having a wonderful time, but now they are not having a wonderful time. They are, in fact, dead. The first time I tried to enter here, I entered here as a badger. And because I was a badger and badgers can't talk, I couldn't knock on the door and have that cutscene with them. So the badger just bursts open through the shed doors and is like, Badger! And they were really pissed and just immediately attack. So you don't even get a chance to talk to them if you try and do it as an animal. Uh, so I came back and did it in my human form. Let's get going. It needed doing. This is where the ogres have fun times. I'm kind of sad because if you're charismatic enough, you can actually shame them so much that they get really embarrassed and they leave. There's an option for you to be like, Ugh. you call that hanky panky? Should mind Ugh, myself. pathetic. No one even sounded like they were having a fun time. What would their corpses say? Do I have Ready girls speak with dead up? <laughs> I've got a scroll of speak with dead as well. Oh, and um, the ring. Someone's got the ring. It was from Wither's tomb. Magic ring? Wait, where is it? Unless someone actually has it. Someone might have it on. Shadow Hearts annoying. <laughs> when you're looking for the ring. No, I don't I don't I don't know where I put it. It's uh it's an amulet. Oh I thought it was a ring. Why do I think it was a ring? Who's got it on, darling? Who was wearing it? I think you put it on a starry and did I? Ah! Moondrop pendant. Oh no, writhing dance. It's not the one. I put it on someone. I swear I did. Can't remember what it's actually called. And I don't know. Equipment. Moondrop. Writhing dance. Aha! Lost voices. There we go. So it gives you the spell. I don't know if it will still cost him a slot to use it, but we can put it on. Yeah, I'm kind of interested to see what Speak With Dead is going to do here. Uh, okay. Have you got it on? Equipped by Gale. Yes. Can you do it now, son? He does have Speak With Dead, I swear. I think we swapped it out last time, though. Under the melee. Oh, I see it. What do we corpse seems willing to speak, but not to its killer. Aww. Aww. Will you speak to a badger? I wonder if I can use shapeshift and then talk to them again. Let's try her. She's chatty. We can recast for free as well. Corpse seems willing to speak, <laughs> but not to its killer. Okay. All right. Well, don't we have that mask that allows us to shapeshift for free? I'm gonna try it. Oh, sexy Gale. So <laughs> sexy. <laughs> You've never looked better. Oh my God. That's a classy wizard right there. Oh, fashion smashing. Okay. Uh, so you want to use the uh, the ability on this. 
to shapeshift Whoa, into a well you can't be anything but a playable race i'm pretty sure so i can't like literally become an ogre uh would you speak to a gith yankee or a strong femme tiefling do you think uh femme tiefling mask and tiefling might be a bit scared of dragonborns half orc sure yeah, we'll, we'll do a half-orc. A manly half-orc. I am now an orc. Everyone air. leave. Still breathing. I'm going everything. to talk to my if friend. Over, then Out of the way. Mm. Orc, orc. Me orc. Me talk with that Gusko. Orc. Corpse can no longer speak. Ah! Wait, can I talk to this dead guy? Ah! Corpse can no longer speak. I, I'd have to reload, I think. But maybe. Wait, 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 wait. F8. Let's do this. What druid subclass did you go for? I went for Circle of the Moon. Corpse said no. Corpse will say yes. We'll see it might work i have seen it before where like you get captured and you get taken to prison and then if you shape shift and you try and leave your cell you think that's going to work because you're literally not the same person but it, it still doesn't work they, they still know it's you so i doubt it but it's worth a try looking ahead on my way lost in thought lost in thought put that on and put that on. There we go. Speak with the dead girl. Speak with them. Corpse seems willing to oh, speak. it's not the. Not I'm. Oh shit! Her. Did I not shape shift yet? Oh, I'm. Shit! I, I forgot to change. I put the mask on, but I didn't actually use it. Shh. Shh, bro gamer. Shh. Oh, hi, Alan. Welcome on in. There's definitely no chaos going on here. Thank you so much for watching the VOD over on YouTube. I am once again amazed that YouTube is, is pushing those VODs for some reason at the moment. I'm not going to question it, but welcome. I'm so glad a lot of people have found the channel from there. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Shape shift. Ug ug. It me. Big strong. Mm, nah, let's let's go with orc. At least the orcs are like similar in alignment. Mask strong half orc. Yes. Ug ug, it me orc. Hello. Oi. Hello. Ug ug. Oh. Yeah, it's working. The corpse regards you. Yeah. <laughs> we love to see it. Okay. Um. Uh. Were you alone when you died? We know he wasn't alone. Uh, what were you doing, hey? What were you doing? Wait. What? 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 you up to when you died? Weapon search. Take. Break. Butters. Butters? What? Butters? Oh. Were you alone when you died? Butters. Boothia. Love. Oh, he loves her. What is the butters thing? What's with butters? What is butters? Is that is that is that your nickname for birthday? Butters? Is that like his pet name for her? Maybe. Oh my butters, come here. I'll give you a scene too. Oh. Oh, now I feel bad. Who killed you? I know who it was because it was me, but who do you report to? Absolute. Only goddess. Rise. Okay. 
Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? Hills. Okay, Moonrise. Fen. Moonrise. Okay. What happened to you? Intruders. Oh no! Oh, she is called Butters! And Butters ruined. Cox blocked! You can ask no more questions. I'm so sorry. Ruined. Romantic date night. Ruined by me. Oh, let's go see what she thinks about this. F5 in case I piss her off somehow. All right, hello. Butters! Her name has changed to Butters! No! The corpse regards you lifelessly. Hi, girl. How you doing? What were you doing in the barn? We want some details. Baby boy. No! She calls him baby boy and he calls her butters. No, I tried to talk to you. We could have worked this out between ourselves. Were you and Gruko in love? Love. Yeah. Good love. I didn't know that they could fall in love. I didn't really think that they were capable of it. But now we know. Did you guys have any valuables? I don't want like whatever stuff you had in there that was vibrating, but you know, if you've got gold or any that kind of thing. I've nothing. Ah. Looking for weapons. Still a better love story than Twilight. What were you doing in the village? Yeah, what weapon were you looking for? Tell me more. From crash. Took by bad people. I thought you were the bad people. Did you mean to tell me there's like multiple sets of bad people? going on here uh what were you doing in the village looking for the weapon i'm guessing guarding it as well i'll ask looking for yeah weapon absolute weapon what exactly did you expect them to tell you? You can ask no more questions. Well, I thought they'd be like, we were having good anky panky and that would be it. I, I didn't think they would say that they were in love with each other. I would just be like, oh yeah, we're having a good bash. Didn't think it would go deeper than that, but apparently they have some very deep feelings. This guy was in here. He's dead. I, I'm guessing they killed him before. Might be from the original village, I suppose. Let's talk to him. What if I, um... Can I change my disguise? No, it would... Uh, I don't know if it would take a spell slot. I'm not sure. He'll probably talk to an orc. The corpse has nothing to say. Nothing to say. Only death well 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 time to go and explore in the goblin village i suppose come on everyone i should probably go back to my normal form now Do we actually have any helmets that are good for you, my dear? No. You can keep that on because you look like an idiot. <laughs> I like it. You deserve it. 
It's like the dunce hat, but a bit more filigreed. It should be more, be more ornate. It suits you. It suits you. I keep it on you. And that necklace, technically you don't need it, but it, it's useful to be able to speak with dead. No one back home will ever believe this. Probably not. Did we take a short rest? Oh, we've taken all of our short rests. Very Might well. be time for a long rest. Is that blood? If anybody no, wasn't no here one. last stream, I blagged my way into the goblin village and they're all friendly to us. I used the illithid powers and told them I was serving the absolute. Looks like this town was ransacked by soldiers, if my eyes don't deceive me. I'm f firing just in case. You were looking for spicy details and all you got was sadness. Nothing else. At least I can poke around here. Looks like a Salunite necklace. Salunite necklace? Chunky and a little dated, but made entirely of hammered silver. I know how much you like saloon, Shadow Heart, so you can you can have it. Oh, you're not here, sorry. <laughs> I forgot she wasn't here. I miss her. She's one of my favourites. Karlak's here though. We needed the space here for Karlak. An old key. Uh -huh. Yoink, don't mind if I do. Someone is sleeping over there still. Ooh, a Something body. Good here, I hope. Free loot. I have bad, bad flashbacks of Goblin Village because this fight can be really difficult depending on what kind of party you have. And I spent a long time here on rooftops trying to topple goblins. I mean, potentially now that they've let us into the village, we could just stealth kill all of them. Oh, I'm cucumbered. Someone take my cheese. Why am I carrying a cauldron? What's wrong with me? There you go. I'm still cucumbered. Oh, these books, they can go back to camp. gonna search for book i don't know whether you can filter like by type like if i type i don't know well i haven't really got a good example now <laughs> can i just do like po potion well i can do potion because it has potion in the name okay i guess that works but i was wondering if you could do book it didn't it didn't find this when i just typed book no so maybe it doesn't find that as being part of a, a certain class of items hey void welcome on in bm i do not know what that stands for you have no spell slots left it seems so using the mask didn't take up a spell slot nice black metal or oh, it's like metal but darker is it I am glad I uh, was used as a namesake in dark, dark metal. I'm unsure if I want to kill all the goblins here or not. I think I do. Because they're definitely not my friends. But I don't know if there's certain ones that patrol around. Like if I start stealth killing them, there's a chance they might discover it. So I'll explore first and kill later if I have to. But, do you know, cobwebs burn really well, usually. Let's give it a go. Yeah, that's what we like to see. Yes, yes, yes. And now we can all just jump down there. Off you go, Starry. Is this a good idea? What could go wrong? Off you go. Hotfoot, hotfoot, place is trapped. 
Oh, great. Place is trapped. You all stay here then. We'll send Starry Keep your distance, to Starry. roam about. Very, very Stealthy, quiet. stealthy boy. The Approachable East, Volume 6. I must say, for a place with so many orcs and goblins, Thesk is a remarkably pleasant land. A true melting pot, where all are accepted, and quite a lot seems to be permitted. Uh, alas, the crew I sailed here with were imprisoned by the harbour master, but I was soon on the road known as the Golden Way, and it lives up to its name. The wealth of a continent marches along this road. Furs from Neverwinter and iron from Nashkel flow in one direction, or silks and jewels flow in the other. I've heard so many stories of the world. The Golden Way passes through Reshemen, through the wastes of the Horde Lands, and on to the continent of Karatur, a land of empires, dragons, and beasts I've never dreamt of. I am so close to Reshemen, but what was once my dream now sounds so, well, mundane. Last night I made camp and was joined by a charming fellow. I told him of my dream of seeing Rashomon and he laughed. He claims Rashomon is nothing compared to Thay and invited me to visit the court of the Zolkirs. Well, it seemed rude to turn down such an illustrious invitation, so I will see what this Thay has to offer. Then Rashomon and beyond. I hope they survived. We'll find out in the next volume, I suppose. Oh. Let me put that in my bag. I must take it for law reasons. Yoink. Looting all the things. I am a loot goblin. Also, I know I can press space to loot it, but I just automatically press take all. I'm trying to teach myself to press space. Oh, this will be easy for Starry. Here he goes. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, just, you rolled so badly. Starry, you're not paying attention. Pikeless blueprints. Intricate blueprints for three impressive sounding weapons. Can we use them for anything? Precise arcs and neatly drawn lines form the blueprints of three weapons. A greatsword, a sickle, and a dagger. Each length and angle is marked with exact measurements, and forging instructions are printed carefully along the bottom of the page, emphasizing an unusual ingredient, susser bark. The susser bark can only be applied to an ordinary, unmodified blade. Oh, it's a masterwork weapon. Oh, oh, what was that? What was that roll? What was it? Who did roll? Who dares? Was that a stealth roll? Is someone coming? What was that for? I don't even know. I do not know how the masterwork weapon stuff works, but it, it said it just opened something up for me in crafting, so. Grenades, potions, coatings. Elixirs, suspensions, vitriols. Okay, well, I guess we'll find out later. Smoke powder barrel. Mm. Let's go. Starry, what is with your rolls today? Oh my god, Starry! <sighs> I'll use my inspiration, why the heck not? Let's go. I need my loot. Oh, 20! There we go! Oh wait, no, that was a failure. <laughs> One of my um, dice sets that I have, the 20 is a symbol, so every time I see the symbol in Baldur's Gate 3, I'm like, Oh, a natural 20! Nope, nope. That's a one. Uh... Right, let's try again. It's only a 15 starry. It's not that hard. Oh my god. Yay. There we go. Critical success. Excellent. Excellent. Steelforged sword. Ooh. And it unlocks two abilities. 
Weapon enchantment plus one. And a blacksmith's note. <gasps> Infernal iron! That's what we needed. Infernal metal! Yes! This can help Dam and patch up my engine. How much do we need, Karlak? Is this enough? This might be what we're looking for. We don't have to go to unfriendly territory to find it. The recommended place to go for the infernal iron, I think, was filled with bandits, so. Specimen, metal. Hardness, 9.5. Very hard. 6.9. Melting point, unknown. Color, silver. Markings, red lacerations flecked with the yellow dust. Source, underdark. Notes, gift from, red acted. Faintly sulfuric odor. Forging, unsuccessful. Will not melt or warp at standard temperature. Karlak's hot enough to make it work. Anybody need a sword? I mean, Karlak, you, you tend to favor the, the big two-handed, so maybe Lazel will enjoy this. We'll see. Yay, we can help Karlak. Lots of torches around here. I'm just taking everything. I don't take no chances. Oh, yes, Starry, take that rope. We'll need it later, darling. Into my pocket. Thank you. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Thank you. Um, There's a short sword here as well. We could just take everything because we can sell it all for money. But it does end up being very heavy. Anything in here? Didn't mind if I do. Rather fond of the way a star in whispers into the ear. I love it very much. His doors in tones. Oh, so glorious. Furnace going again. <laughs> well, I have a feeling this is where we have to forge whatever car like needs. Ooh! What have we here? Secrets! But we might have to report back to the blacksmith first. And then he might tell us to come here. We found infernal iron. We should take it to Damon. We should. I don't know if we're ready for what's down there. I know what's down there. <laughs> hmm. Can we open this shabby door over here? This, I think, goes back up again across the road. No cursing has been redeemed, but I'm always so well behaved. I would never curse. Ever. Apparently, people look at me and they think I'm really innocent and I would never curse anyway. Oh, he's cucumbered now too story of my life i can just send things back to the camp chest um let's let's pop that in the camp chest as well because that's his eccentric clothes not his adventuring clothes and again i'm gonna try typing book and see if it works but i don't think it does no um can you suggested filters potion scrolls no can I say throwables, arrows, equipment? Okay, I guess books just don't have a class of their own. So it's just a case of finding them and sending them back. So do that one and that one. Send to camp. This and this. Send to camp. Blacksmith's notes. Well, we might want to give that to Danon as well. It's great that you can sort by weight though. Mill ring armor. So much leather armor. Inventory management needs to happen soon. I need to do some selling back at the Druid's Grove, I think. Yeah, okay, he's fine. Oh, also, I would like to point out. I cleared a Starion's inventory to exactly 69.9. A. That's how you romance him. You have to make sure he has exactly 69.9 inventory space. And then he'll proposition you. Works every time. Nice. Okay. 
nothing in here. Always worth checking barrels. You never know what you might find. More thieves tools are always nice too. I would do so much for an item vendor in camp. Wouldn't it be interesting if that was something that, that happened a little bit later on? Hmm. So I will say this because we have met them. Uh, but withers, I believe you can sell stuff to withers. Eventually. I believe. It's been a long time since early access, but I believe that's his purpose. He is your camp merchant. Our scalabro friend. Withers best girl. We love him. He's the best. You need a mod to sell to withers, really? I thought with us, like, I thought that was their purpose. Or no, he's like, he enchants stuff, right? I'm trying to remember. Oh, a pleasurable deal. The shocking truth. Oh, the saga continues. Oh! Below is a transcript of an interview with the writer and director of a pleasurable deal, Mr. Kingsley Harp. What is your inspiration behind this? If I may be so bold, entirely lewd piece of drama. Oh, it's about exploring the taboo, seeing who we, as people, really are. Yes, Robert makes a deal with a Cambian, but who wouldn't? Well, I like to think that most people wouldn't. Well, then you don't know most people. Everyone wants something. Everyone needs something. Cambians can see it. In a way, they know us better than we know ourselves. But at the end of the play, Robert dies horribly. <laughs> what does that say about what we, as you put it, need? You forget, Robert dies because he broke away from Carlisle. He didn't stay true to the deal they made. So you're encouraging people to make a pact with Hell's offspring? To give up as Robert did his soul? Uh, well, we have only one life. Why not make the most of it? So what was your deal? I beg your pardon. Well, in fact, this was your directional debut, wasn't it? You couldn't even get published in the tabloid of Baldur's Bash before this play came out. Did you honestly trade your soul for an erotic play? I... Uh, uh, all right, we're done here. <laughs> 10 out of 10 would trade my soul for an erotic play. Mm -hmm. We'd make a deal. We'd make a deal. My soul for an exceptional piece of smut? Absolutely. Let's go. Wait, are you saying the devil wrote the smut or just like gave him the ability to write glorious smut? Oh dear. I'm taking that. That's coming back to camp with me. Oh, no, don't read it again. Sorry, just take it. Take, uh, take the thing, pick it up. There we go. A pleasurable deal. We read the other part of that when we snuck into a basement. Don't touch the door, not yet. We're not ready. Okay. Can I stealthily open a door? F5. I think I can. It's locked though. Aha! We had the key. Why are you sneaking around? I'm not sneaking around. There's nothing to see here. There's nothing to see. It's fine. Quick step. Wait, wait, let me just check the goblins aren't pissed at me for doing that. I don't know if they know. Nah, she doesn't care. That's good. Okay. Well, we got some stuff we needed. And it, but, but what, what, what? Django! And to Bibbages! To Bibbs Bibbs! Bibbs, thank you so much for giving me your soul. A very warm welcome to the Wisps. I hope you enjoy your immortality. It comes complimentary with your subscription for the small price of your soul. Enjoy being a Wisp, a small ball of light formed by pure soul energy and all of the emotes that we have here in the channel as well. And welcome back Django, 15 months, 15 wonderful months. Thank you for all the streams. Here's to many more. Cheers Django, oh my God. And we've got Essie subscribing as well.
the law of immortality is just too much for you humans. You just you just can't resist. Just throwing your souls at me. Thank you so much, Essie. You have lots of elf emotes to use. Glorious ad free viewing here now. And immortality. It's a nice perk. Just a little wee side perk going on there. Okay, I think it might be time to have a longer rest, possibly, because we do have some party members who are not doing so good. But we can probably return to the Emerald Grove. Oh, he's not grouped up. There we go. Group party. Eternity is a long time. It I is. I mean, technically, I'm not allowed to make you immortal for any longer than 30 days at a time. Because if you extend a mortal's lifespan beyond 30 days, it's technically illegal, at least in the Southern Elven Forest. So what we've done is technically I'm only making you immortal for 30 days, right? And then if you resubscribe, you get another 30 days. And if you see what I'm doing here, it works. You left Starry behind? I thought he was the first to teleport. My boy. Group up with us, you silly noodle. Come on, we're moving. Step by step. There we go. Ah, you devil elf. How dare you? I've made no packs with any dark demonic creatures. None whatsoever. Yet. All right, what now? Are you in the group? You are? Okay. She was scared of the door. F5. Let's go see the blacksmith. See what he has to say. Sorry, you'll have to debate the ownership of my soul with Lord Ariok, my Hexblade patron. Oh, is he devil? I, I've done a lot of deals with, with devils. Like, the devil himself. I've done a few deals with him as well. Just to get the souls back, not a personal deal. Okay, Die, let's do I this. How fares the search? We found it. Found the iron. Please let this work. Mm. The weight of it. And that blaze of chaos. I can't imagine this where my heart should be. Must be quite the experience. You could say that. Give me just a moment. And I think... Easy. There. You'll have to install it, I'm afraid. I don't think there are thick enough gloves in all the realms to protect from that kind of aid. Is she just putting it in? Oh, that feels... I don't know how she managed to do that with all her clothes on, Good. but okay. I'm still burning hot as hell's hole, but I feel less... ...changeable. Cheers, mate. Pleasure. Get, get. And as for the heat, I haven't got any solutions now, but I'm not giving up. Could be if the combustion chamber had its own insulation, or if we had some kind of enchanted coolant. Find me again in Baldur's Gate. If I'm worth my salt, I'll have figured something out by then. Take care, Karlak. See you and hopefully you. the next time I see you, I'll have something promising to report. Pocket any infernal iron you find along the way, hmm? We might need it. What I wouldn't do for better tools. Damon's upgrade didn't cool me down, but it did juice me up. I don't think I've ever felt more powerful. Let's find some evil seed to smack then. We'll find more Infernal Iron and get you that second upgrade too. I still can't touch you though. I long for your touch. Ah, uh, let's go, uh, let's find some evil for you to smack and we will get you that second upgrade. Sooner rather than later would be good. 
I feel like I'm burning serious Oh no. Fuel. Will you be all right? Oh fuck yes. I'm ready to burn all night. Damn. Speaking of, I could eat a giant badger. Oh. It's almost time for dinner. Don't eat me. I I mean I can turn into a badger if you want to eat me. That works. You sound like Die if I met the road and reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I have to burn them. I'm just. I told you, not now. Sorry. Having fun with your new goblin friend? No. Bet you aren't. No, I haven't got a goblin friend. I just told you you shouldn't kill her. I can pack or talk, and right now I'm packing. Sorry. Sorry, everyone's so antsy around here. God. So. She's still in there. She doesn't seem that grateful that we freed her. Clean your inventory has been redeemed. All right. Let's see what we can do about that. I need to mark some things for selling, really. Oh, sorry. But I'm keeping all my good gear well out of sight. He might numb it. That's true. Everything fancy he touches meets a grisly end. We shall see. This ain't a vor stream, vor. What's vor? Let's do some uh, marking for selling. Woohoo! Now, is any of this leather armor actually good for anyone? I'm pretty sure most people have better than that. AC 11. Nah. It's not the best. We can always find something like it if we need it. Padded armor. That used to be Astarian's armor. Oh. It's exactly the same, but this one is more fashionable. So, we'll do that. Not sure about the shields because no one in the group currently uses a shield. Hmm, Shadowheart might enjoy the Morning Star. What about my stave? One to eight, just a basic quarter staff. A flail! It's classed as a mace. Oh, Shadowheart would very much enjoy that. Ida loves Saloon. I'm going to give that to Shadowheart, so I'll put it in the camp. She'll love it. She loves Celine. Loves her so much. Torch. Torch can be useful if we're somewhere really dark, but I reckon we only need to keep one. Potato! Poison's always good. Caustic bulb. These are very basic leather boots. Mysterious artifact. Wait, isn't that Shadow Hearts? What is what? 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 F five. F five. Can I use it? Oh! When did I get this? Ornate box. Its many sides oh, is that from the cave? with indecipherable glyphs. Examine it more closely. Uh, minus one intelligence and also minus one because the Starion did the suck suck. I can do this, I believe! Oh my god! Barely! Barely! Ooh, feels good. No openings you can see, yet you sense something inside it. Huh. There's something about it, isn't there? Can an object have magnetism? Or mind control? Drop it on the ground. I mean... I did F5. I hope it doesn't blow up, but... um, Slam it. <gasps> oh! Huh? Looks like your toy has other ideas. 
I think you're stuck with it. I like it. Force it open. How could this go wrong? No, I think there's something specific we need to do to open it, but I'm going to do it for the lols. The box doesn't yield. No. Nah. <sighs> Tough luck. Let me know if you need to borrow a little elbow grease. All right. Shadowheart has it from the start. For game reasons, if you remove her from the party, it just switches to yours. Oh, good to know. Thanks, B. So I was like, is this Shadow Hearts or was this something else I found? Interesting. I'm, I'm surprised she's letting me touch it. Center camp, center camp. I want to use those rotten eggs in, in a fight. I've got some Mind Flayer specimens. I'm, I'm not quite sure what to do with them yet, but I can do something. Give that to Starry. He's the one who always does our trap disarming. Mmm, rotten fish. Lovely. Potions, always good to have. Gain the ability to fly. How long does that last? Until the next rest? That's crazy. And I give that to our lovely Shadow Heart. I'm going to give her the necklace and the idol of Selene just to make her mad. All these random things that I picked up a ladle, a cup. It's free money. Incense. Oh, lovely. A ring. Netherese briefs. Those are, those are um, the underwear of our lovely wizard. So we, we shouldn't sell them. Okay. Anyone else got a load of crap? Oh, a starion. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry I did this to you. I think we need water for something. We can just like throw it on fire as well. So that's quite useful to keep around. Vagabond clothes, don't need those. A hammer. I wonder if we do need that for doing any smithing or anything, but I'll get rid of it for now. Trident. One to eight damage. Pretty okay. Some rope, we need that later, darling. I'll keep one stack of it. Hand drum. Who is proficient with musical instruments, I wonder? We haven't got anyone yet. This is what happens when you literally pick up everything. <laughs> War pick. I like the sound of that. We can keep that. Who wants a hat just for fashion? Because... I have got a, a spare brimmed hat here. These are three to six. How good is yours? Four to seven. Yeah. One to four. Oh, although that unlocks piercing, so. Oh no, actually, you can do it without that. How about you have this one instead then? One to four. Three to six. Have the three to six one. Wait, what? Oh no, that was three to six. I was reading the wrong way around. Hey me no mind, just dawn things. I was like, why is the one that has its own special name worse than the standard dagger? Now it makes sense. Hey Skywing, welcome on in. J just as I was looking at the flying potions, we have Sky Skywing come in. Rags, bones, bottles, rotten carrots. You never know, I could use that to throw at someone. It might come in useful. Or oh, win some malachite. Yeah, we'll add that to our wares. Gail's also got a bunch of crap. Let me sell this stuff first, Again. see how rich we get. 
Swing and swing. Swing and swing. What is that green liquid the elf is drinking? This? Um, this was coffee, and then I filled up the same cup with water, so now we have, like, a mildly coffee-flavoured water going on. It's dank. I love it. Mmm. So nutritious. Delicious. But yeah, there's this odd ox. I'm trying to remember... I think it's a shapeshifter and there's, there's some way to dispel it. Um, what if we use the scroll of detect thoughts, right? Uh, although there's, I, I want a way to dispel it and I, I don't know if Gale currently has learned anything like that. Learn spell. So he's got it now. He would have to take a rest in order to use it. Um, I don't... He can't hot swap because he's a wizard. Because he sucks. And he hasn't got spell slots. It's not prepared. So he can't even use it right now. <laughs> um, but we could take a rest and then see if we can use it. Misty step, grease fog, feather fall, no. Let's march. Has anyone got anything to... I'm just going to search for dispel and see what we have. Dispel? No, no. That's definitely a weird ox. The ox makes you uneasy. Try to discern why. Ah, all the minus ones. I believe. Oh, yes, no. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Moo! Uh, moo! I say moo! Well, I'm getting no further things than that. If, if I... You're right there? Okay, no. oh, I have Gail, talk touch. to the cow. <laughs> Mawu. A fine looking beast you are. Indeed you are. <laughs> I wonder if there's an, a higher role you can get which actually tells you what's going on because Gail's better at Arcana than me. Oh, Gail! You suck. Oh. Disgusting. Something's off. This creature isn't what it appears to be. Yeah, we figured. A moo! Ooh. You might need pet pal. Well, I have animal friendship, but that just convinces them not to attack me. And I've literally, I transformed into a beast before and talked to him and he still won't talk to me. What about a cat? Did we try a cat before? <laughs> Meow. Moo. Moo. And I think I know why. It's because it is not an animal. It is not an animal. It's a person. So the deal behind this ox is it's actually a shapeshifter and it has a ring of shapeshifting on it. So the reason why I can't talk to it as an animal is because it's only pretending to be an animal. It's still classed as a humanoid. So yeah, that's why. But... If it's got the ring that's making it transform into an ox, that's what I'm thinking, Broken. If we can pickpocket it, I don't want to get in trouble and get seen, but let's see if we can take the party behind here. And then look at its little paws. Oh, the children like me in cat form. That's kind of cute. Okay, so I can distract with the cat. Like if I go over here and I'm like, me ow, me ow, then everyone will look at me. There you go. And they're all like, whoa. Look at that cat. And then Starry can stealth in. Can you stealth, boy? Boy. Like a wraith. The strange cow has stayed there as well. So that's good. Hiding successful. Oh, oh, he just came out of hiding. 
Excellent. Pickpocket. Pickpocket failed, but why? But why? <laughs> Is it because he's still a cow? You know, there is something else we can do. Even if it's well shaped, you can still talk to it with speak to animal. You can do it to house in and that bear in Drew's Grove. It's just weird because most other animals, if you're in animal form, they will talk to you. Like the squirrel will talk to you if you're in animal form. Um, But yeah, I do actually what have to speak do? with animals as a spell, but I don't have it assigned at the moment. So we could do it once we've gone back to camp or <laughs> oh no! <laughs> okay, I'm glad I saved. I seem to remember that if you just hit it, it would actually <laughs> shape shift back, but it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. I thought that just hitting him would break his concentration and then he'd have to leave the spell, but no, we're good, we're good, we're good. Cow doesn't have a pocket. I can't, I can't pick from its udders. Oh well. Oreo's exercising an elf. Here we go. Under death cycler is a go. Cow doesn't have a pocket. I mean, it has a ring on it. And my question is, where's the ring? I'm guessing maybe, you know, it's wearing it on its nose. Okay, that never happened. Let's go back to camp. Take a long rest. We deserve it. We've been through a lot since the last rest. Hello, boy. Hi. Who's good boy? Do you want a cuddle? Yes. Best boy. I can never remember which classes prepare spells and which don't. Wizards do. Because they're, you know, they're intellectuals. They have to sit down and read their books and think about it. Where sorcerers, they're more kind of natural, innate magic. And clerics, yeah. Hello, Sari. How are you doing? Can we have a chat? Hello. What can I do Why are you? you still covered in blood? Oh, darling, you look so good. You can feed on me tonight, if you like. What do you think's waiting for us at Moonrise Towers? Who knows? Drow? Mind flayers? Death? Hopefully not ours. Well, we can always hope. But maybe answers if we can convince the right people to talk why is he naked he's not naked what do you mean he's, he's got his outfit on okay please don't feed on me tonight because i don't really like having this minus one it's it's not great how you doing Karlak? hey hey sounds like all we need to do to fix your engine is to find some infernal iron. And we just found some, so. Let's hope Damon is as good as he seems. Once my engine's handled, I can focus on more important matters. Tadpoles, cults, frosty pints. Mmm, a nice frosty pint. You let him feed again, didn't you? He just, 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 just been twice now, two times, T-Bay. It's, so, it's only a little nibble, it's only a couple times. Withers, my boy, hello. Ah, another. Thy name has been recorded. Really? I shall be here in thy camp for whenever thou hast need of my services. I could have sworn you were a trader, Withers, but I guess I got that wrong. You're an enchanter or something, right? You were sorting something before. What were you doing? What kind of services? A mending of the threads between. Oh, he raises people. I remember. I remember. Should thou or any of thy compatriots perish, I will cleave soul to body once more. But it will cost you. You mentioned a cost. What is it? Four ninety nine plus tax. A matter of coin. Two hundred coin. That is the worth of a life. Can you help me change my class? Ah. So if you do want to respec and completely reroll your character, then you can change your class there. That's outrageous. I mean, that's that's okay. Then I shall wait here patiently until it is acquired. Good, good. Well, I'm rich, so that would not be a problem for me. This strange wraith commands many powers. 
He allows you to resurrect allies, hire help, and change your class. Fair price, of course. Not this one. Nor this one. And this one are less worthy still. Indeed. Oh! But you know who is worthy? Say hello! Is worthy of immortality. Enjoy being a wisp, hello! And thank you so much for your soul. I will keep it very safe. Thank you, thank you. Less worthy still. More riddles from my resident jester. I riddle thee not. I speak only what requires telling. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. They are trapped. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Uh, what exactly can they do? Most willingly, forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Okay. Well, uh... I'd like to talk about them. I, I don't really know what I can use them for. Very well. Recruit a hireling. I mean, sure. I don't know what they're gonna do. But we'll see. T-Bay! I cast protection against ads. There you go. It should last for 30 days. Thou art protected. Enjoy your glorious ad free viewing and thank you for supporting an elf. I guess I want to recruit a hireling. Impossible. Oh, okay. So it's a it's a combat member. Full. Okay. Well, I'm fine. I don't want to take some random person with me. It's fine with me. Do you think I can trust these cultists? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well. Good to have you, my friend. Why do I kind of want to see if I can pickpocket him? Like pay him for his services and then just immediately rob him. Free money. Oh, hello, Gail. How are you doing? fine booty you got there. Oh. It's that time, is it? Pretty. Who is that? Cut it out. That spell of yours is attracting mosquitoes. Pretty. Oh. My. Hmm. You startled me. I, uh... Miles away. Is everything all right? The figure you conjured. Who is she? Someone you miss? No, no. She's no one, really. I was just mm. Roll for deception. practicing an incantation. You don't have that look on your face when you're looking for no one. She's certainly not no one. Mm -hmm. A woman knows when something's up. Mm -hmm. What can I say? She's... She's Mistra. I can't quite describe it. The need I sometimes feel to see her. To draw the filaments of fantasy into existence. No sculpture or painting could ever do her justice. Only the fabric that she herself is. And embodies. Who is she? The weave. Mistra is all magic. As far as I'm concerned, she is all creation. You sound like a smitten schoolboy. Ah, it's the goddess, Mistra. I, I thought he was literally conjuring an image of someone he fancied, but, you know, maybe he does. You're deluded, Gale. There's more to life than one goddess. 
You sound like a smitten schoolboy. It is a kind of love, after all. At the very least, a most deep-seated passion. Magic is... my life. I've been in touch with the Weave for as long as I can remember. There's nothing like it. It's like music, poetry, physical beauty, all rolled into one and given expression through the senses. Would you like to experience this? I mean, wouldn't everyone? I kind of know a bit about magic. I am a druid after all. Then follow my lead. Oh. 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 Don't look at me like that, Gale, you dirty boy. Oh. Now you. Um. Are you sure about this? Imitate the gesture quickly and decisively. Imitate the gesture slowly and as precise as you can. Imitate the gesture with a flourish. Actually, never mind. Magic is not for me. That looked kind of naff, to be honest. I don't know. I don't know. Why are you standing next to a naked man? No, he's just in his underwear. He's still wearing his undies. It's, it's everybody's night off. We're just chilling at the camp. He's just in his undies looking at images of goddess women. You know, it's just how people decide to spend their free time. Mm. I'm pretty much just as bad at all of these, so I will try my best to do it well. <laughs> Oh, no. I love how for a second it was like, wow, you did that perfectly. And then just, nah. Nah. No chance. <sighs> I mean, I, I could use my inspiration. We are going to take a long rest. And I was saying, I don't know. <laughs> I'll try again. If I fail again, it's meant to be. Okay, here we go. Abora. Kudabora. Yeah. I'm a wizard. Nice. You feel something strange, like a kind word and a kind touch at the same time. It's warm and comfortable. Ooh. Excellent. Now, repeat after me. Athran Mistraril Kantrak Eo. Athran Mistraril Kantrak Eo. I am very stupid, so I have a minus one to intelligence, and I've also been sucked by a Starian, so I'm also minus one. <laughs> Plus three from my wisdom for the Arcana. Repeat the words, bold and proud. Uh. I I sense power in these words. I will try and speak them deliberately. Aka Suzy wa No again oh. Gail, I don't know if I want to waste my inspiration dice on you to be honest. No. I'm sorry. No! It looks like magic's not on the cards tonight. Oh, come on. Perhaps I'm not quite the teacher I fancy myself to be. In any case, don't blame yourself. Mistra can be a fickle mistress. Coy to a T. Good night. Ha! Huh. Does that mean we missed that cutscene? Does that mean we missed that? I'm just bad at magic. And I should feel bad, apparently. Hmm. Hi, Will. Do you want to do some magic? Gale slurped that thing up like a horse with a carrot. I hope he got what he needed from it. Will's not very chatty tonight. He's busy being horny. Hey, Lazel. Sorry Gale's I didn't take you on the party voracious. mission. Well, let him suck up all the magic he needs, as long as he doesn't snack on a Githyanki silver sword. Fair enough. My boy, 
Surely you have more to say. What can I do for you? A lot of things, darling. I don't know if I should let you feed on me tonight. It's just... Uh, I'm just feeling a bit dizzy and... Maybe tomorrow night, okay? Hey, Shadowheart. So, Gale just consumes magical items like I do wine. We truly are a group apart. Nevertheless, as quirks go, that's a new one for me. Oh, I have a present for you. Give me one second. I put it somewhere in here. There's a lot of things in here. I swear I put it in here. Ah, here we go. Yeah. I got this. And then I also got you a necklace. There you go. Can I just drop them in her camp? Like... If I take the idol of Saloon and just put it next to her, like, yeah, you like Saloon now. Deal with it. Eh, you love Saloon. <laughs> she loves Saloon! Look at that massive idol she has! There we go! Yes! Praise the moon! And then I, I'm also going to chuck down this lovely saloon necklace for you here. There you go. There you go. Enjoy. Enjoy. Right, you can't actually see it. It's gone underneath your carpet, but I'll know it's there. Something the matter? No, nothing. Nothing. Do you like the present I gave you? Fine. What's on your mind? Ah. Nothing else to say to me, but enjoy your idol. Enjoy. She's praying to Saloon. I should store all my books here, really, shouldn't I? Because it does have the option to put books here, so I should. I'm definitely going to be reading some for Law Whisper, which is my YouTube Law channel. I need to do some recording. I'm going in the booth tomorrow, so I will I will see if I can also do some Baldur's Gate ones during that as well. put some books in there. Make ourselves a little library. Did I hear War Whisper? Law Whisper, but close enough. Hi, War Whisper, how are you doing? I'm always up for war and chaos, you know me. Why is this so rare? That's all my books. What can Sapphire do for you? Do I have some in my inventory? I'm pretty sure that any kind of precious stone is just for selling. library space I have, but I'll fill it up as much as I can. There you go. I finished the game and I never found a use for stones or ingots. Uh, I think with the ingots, maybe if you find a blacksmith, there's something they can do there. Oh, I can sit on the tree. I didn't know that. But with the gems, I'm pretty sure they're just for selling. I could be wrong though. Decide what to do with the chest. Oh, I already opened it and stole everything. <laughs> Didn't we already open it? 
Yeah, we did. I need the lockpick. Oh god, I'm so bad at this. Oh, it's DC 20 for me. No, no, thank you. Starry can open it. <laughs> Give it to Starry. What a day. What a day, darling. Do you think you could do some lock picking for me? Would you mind terribly? I think I sent it to you. Uh, yes, here you go. Pick that for me, darling. Oh, yeah, sorry, I like to challenge. Oh, DC 20, really? We might be able to do it. Yay! What is in here? Ooh, yo, 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 yo. Oh, yeah! Fire amber. Combine three of these to calcinate them into ashes. Gold and an iron flask. Ooh, okay. Take all of that, thank you. A flask that can hold friends and foes. Likely to make the former of the latter. So many camp supplies. Take everything. It's just empty now. Okay, we should go find a merchant as well. I've got so much rubbish. Let's have a sleep though, darling. Never a dull moment. Well, I did let all the blacksmiths die, so that might have been a part of it. In. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think undead blacksmiths can really do quite the same work. The fire kind of hurts their bones, so yeah, maybe you need to have them alive. Bedtime. time and a full rest <sighs> don't have a suck starry i'm tired there we go <sighs> oh. same really when i wake up in the morning when my eyes open and i log into the server of reality for the day just uh, why am i here log me off already very relatable. Thank you, Baldur's Gate Party. F5. Just in case. So we're all rejuvenated and we're ready to set out on some missions. I will equip Speak With Animals as well. Which I have in here somewhere. There we go. I think I have to do it overnight though. Cannot prepare more spells. You have to do it before you go to bed, right? Or I have to say bye-bye to these first, actually. Uh... Cure a creature from disease, poison, paralysis, or blindness. I don't really need that right now. There we go. There we go. You can prepare spells anytime you're not in combat. Oh, okay. So we don't even have to go back to camp for it. Good, good. And let's do that. Let me work my magic. Hello, darling. You look wonderful in that hat, as always. Let's prepare that spell for Gale if we can. Not sure what to get rid of. I love Tasha's hideous laughter, so keeping that. Grease is so useful. Sleep I haven't used much. And it could be useful. Misty stuff is amazing. Let's let's take detect thoughts just so I can perv on people for a bit. You gonna come? Hey! Hello, Moglet. Have you finally decided to come and see everyone? Finally! She's been antisocial all stream. Are you going to sit with us? You won't be able to see her because I'm wearing black today and she is the voidiest of void cats. But she is here. There is a tail here. Hello. Do you want to sit on my lap? Oh. I think she wants to sit on my lap, but she's, she's bothered by the fact that I have shorts on. Because it's not as comfy when it's bare flesh, hmm? You like, you like some kind of snuggly surface to sit down in. I see. I see how it is. If anyone's not met my cat before, this is Moogle. Normally she chills on cat cam, but she's, uh, she's not into her bed today. She's mostly been 
wandering around causing chaos and eating plastic as usual uh, 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 no speaking of plastic do not eat that do not eat that that is a very fancy collector's edition yes we've been sent a very lovely collector's edition of astergios which we're going to be playing on friday ow, 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 ow. Do you mind? I just went and got myself a new drink. Classic cat things. Can't wait for the playable tabaxi mod in this game. I wonder if it'll ever be like, you know, properly in game because obviously tabaxi are canon. So DLC, tabaxi DLC, we'll see. Okay, cat, do not drink that water. Do not, no, that has coffee in. You're not gonna want that. Mind if I ask, why does your girl look like that with that hat? So, this is a special shape-shifting mask. So, it actually gives you the ability to shape-shift into another race and gender, if you want to, which comes in handy every now and then. And since we don't really have another hat that has actual stats on to give to Gale at the moment, I just gave him that. And now he looks fabulous all the time, as usual. All right. Another step forward. Let's get going back to camp then. I mean, out of camp. We're in camp, out of camp, back on the road again. Again. Swing and swing. Swing and swing. What? Sorry, why do you hate me? Why be mean? I found you the iron that you needed. Why, why are we being dismissive? Carlac, please don't break my heart. We still have the suspicious ox, which I'm now going to use speak to animals and see what it says. Moo. Moo. But you're not a real cow. We know this. Come on. Moo. Nah, speak with animals doesn't do anything with them because it's not a real Seems cow. Like a good moment to talk. What about this ox? Moo? Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Or rocks. Uh. What are you talking about? The keepers of this place. They change their form to fit their need. Shapeshifters. They become birds to hunt on the wing. Bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen only same old hair and i cannot even eat it because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside yeah we found that before cheer up you do a noble thing carrying burdens for those who can't maybe you could learn to change as we druids do maybe yes yes would you like two legs i would change into a two legs like you but how magic I uh, meditation. A lot of it. Surely you could pick a better form than mine. Yeah, you should meditate. Go moo and think deep thoughts. You mean when the keepers stand and sleep all at once? I kind of learned to do this long ago. That Perhaps true. we are the true keepers. I will learn to walk on two legs, friend. Then perhaps I will teach them. Oh, good luck with that. Ah, very knowledgeable ox. Be gone. Oh, I sorry. am hungry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Didn't mean to offend you. Oh. We're cornered in this place. Even the bloody druids look like they might turn on us. Come back at level seven with Polymorph and make his dreams come true. I was just thinking about you. that. Like, I haven't got that spell yet, but I think there is a wand of polymorph that we can find somewhere in Act 1, I'm pretty sure. So, yeah, I'll come and, I'll come and help him out. He'll love it. Flat rock. Oh. Oh, it's just a place to sit. Okay. I thought there might be something hidden in here. All right, well, where to now? Oh, we need to go to the Githyanki crash. 
Also, we did find the boar, but we didn't get the scene with the boar and Astarian. So I'm wondering if we can quick travel back near the Blighted Village. And have a look at the boar. Dawn, you want to sell stuff? Oh. <laughs> we'll let Astarian look at the boar. And then, then then we'll go back and yeah inventory management yeah love inventory management it's my favorite thing the boar is here like i swear we did look at it but we didn't get the same cut scene i don't think no usually it would be ah here we go Exsanguinated boar. Starry's still back here. And again. Come on, Starry. Let's move. Does a Starian say anything if you make him interact with the boar first? So there is a conversation that happens. And Astarian's very like, oh, there's no reason to look at this thing. Let's get moving. And then if you press him further, you, you do find out that vampires exist and all of that. But we already know the truth, so I don't think that cutscene will happen. Interesting. Okay. Can't give up now. Just thought I'd check. Let's go sell some things like I originally planned to before I got distracted by the ox. Hey, Shizzy. Good evening to noon. Is it because pig's blood is so close to human blood? Well, he's doing an Edward Cullen and he claims, at least at this point, he claims that he's only ever had animal blood. And I felt kind of bad for him. So I was like, yeah, you can, you can feast on me. But I think he's lying. I think he's lying. He's definitely had human blood before. I should speak up. Need anything else? Yeah, can you buy all Always my shit? Happy to help those who follow the first I have circle. so much. Is there a quick way to just sell all of the trash? Like anything you've marked as vendor? I know I can go through and I can press them all. But there's a lot. I'm gonna be so rich. There we go. Barter. No, no, no. Balance. There we go. Yep. And now barter. <laughs> there we go. Okay, Starry, your turn. Switch to trade. Oh, as in... Oh, wait, what? Ah, okay. Insufficient gold. He's too poor. <laughs> he can't afford my shit. He doesn't have enough money. <laughs> All right, let's go see the blacksmith then. Be with you. Bye, poor person. These boots have seen everything. He gave us what he could, but he has literally no more money to pay me. Nice, thanks, Mac. I didn't know there was that view. I saved backpacks and just filled them and bartered them. Oh, Sneaky. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Looking for steel? I have, well, something close. Let me see your wares. Haha. -ha. Sell wares. Excellent. Oh, 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 that's so easy. I love it. I love it. We can't mark as wares like directly from this inventory, but we can just double click, which to be honest, it's probably easier to do. Rotten banana. Mmm. Delicious. What have you got? Cheese. Hammers. Oh, you've got my cauldron. That's nice. There you go. Oh, I feel so die much lighter. I can reeking of this place. I'll never get the smell out of my clothes. I'll have to burn them. We should have left by now. Damnation! Sorry. 
Instead, we're just sitting here, practically begging to be attacked. Why don't you leave on your Staying own then? Is a mistake. You're doing the right thing. The tieflings need help. Why the rush to leave? You don't understand. My apprenticeship with Laroa can begin shortly. Uh, I cannot be late. Self-serving interest, yes, I see. Yes, that Laroa can. The greatest wizard in Baldur's Gate. Well, I've uh, heard that name showing before. off. A young man, yes? Lives in Ramazes Tower in the upper city. The very same. Word in Waterdeep has it he's a bit of a cad. But you say he's an accomplished wizard. Of course he is. The greatest spellcaster along the Sword Coast. Oh. As if I'd settle for a lesser mentor. In that case, I'd very much appreciate it if you could arrange an introduction, should we reach the city. Okay. Good idea. Powerful acquaintances never hurt. Oh, then I'm not sure about this Loroakan. I've heard stories of Loroakan. Not all of them good. Mm. Common gossip. The byproducts of ignorance and jealousy. I've admired Loroakan for years. Never dreamed he'd answer my letter. But I've worked myself to the bone for this. Few can match me in either magic or talent. The names Roland and Laroakin will be known far and wide. Oh, this is so going to go poorly You'll for see. him. He's so dead. Okay, well, good to know. What does his friend think about this? He's hoping we all make it in one piece. Good luck with that. Those goblins will rule the day they chose to tangle with this grove. You and I will do some good here. I can feel it. Good. I like to see some positivity for once. Where's Granny gone? She's not here. No hmm. Exposed now. Volo's complete guide to the behavior of nymphs. Ooh. Don't mind if I do. The book is written in a swinging scroll. The red ink of an eager editor slashes through most of its contests. contents. Contents. <laughs> Two inscriptions, each in a different hand, are scribbled inside the cover. V. Absolutely not. E. Dearest Elminster, we'll get to the city soon. while you may I lack imagination, scowl on your face would frighten a troll. Shush! You're an idiot. Every time I read something, and then there's the kids up the cliff fighting. <clears throat> Dearest Elminster, while you may lack imagination, nymphs, I assure you, do not. Nor does the public that eagerly awaits this work. I will refrain from publishing this piece for now, but only that I may conduct a more extensive bout of research. Your friend these many years, Verichamp Gelom, author, researcher, raconteur, etc. Verlu is that lovely gentleman that we met up there. I wonder if he's still trying to write a song about a dragon. Maybe he's done now. It's been a few days. Oh, it's the child. Hello, child. Can I annoy you into giving uh, hey, me more things? Are you here to trade or? Annoy you. Your partner is a thief. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. Rude. You could at least pretend to be sorry. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look, Kids you caught her. Good for you. You want a chump like everyone else around here. All right. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. Wow. Child, we shall be having Think words. Stand back a ways, pal. I'm fishing for chumps here. No. Come on. Hey. Uh, shocking behavior. I feel like I should be able to get in this hole. Like I tried as a cat and it wouldn't let me in. But I'm going to try again because it's later on. And we've scared the boy in, so... No? Really? Damn it. Ah. Paper. Hate it. Oh, look at his little balls. Hello. Able to speak. And there's, there's another entrance as well, but... You are unable to I don't speak. think you actually find it until you scare Donnie into the hole. I think we have to scare Donnie first. Hello, Donnie. Don't mind me just transforming into a human again. 
What? Where the hell did you disappear to before? Oh. <laughs> Why so bad? No. That was so easy. Oh. I'll use my inspiration. Why not? Why not? He's probably not going to tell us. Yeah. There we go. That's more like it. Watching his hands, you realize he's mining opening something. Is it a, a chest? I have detect thoughts, so... I mean, I can. He's probably not going to like it. Is it a chest? A door? Can you show me where it is? I only have a plus one to that, but I have a plus three from wisdom. Is this an illithid action there? It doesn't say illithid, it just says detect thoughts. So, yes, because Gale has it equipped. Let's try it. Minus one because of my intelligence. Oh, there we go. We did it. He's not infected. Yeah, I just wondered if it was like an evil option. Because sometimes, you know, using those kinds of powers, it does get classed as evil. Got to keep watch. But it's so bright and noisy here. Want to be back in the hideout. Oh. It's bright and noisy up here, huh? I wish there was someone darker to rest. He nods, then reaches for a concealed hatch. Hey, the, thanks for showing me the door. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Would you like a hug? You want to fight? His eyes flicker to yours for an instant, then away, as if it hurts to look at you. What do you mean? Oh. oh, is he just really shy? Oh, I can get in when I'm this size. Okay. Tiefling hideout. Oh, this is where the criminals be sneaking. You have purple dice. How? I believe it was the digital deluxe upgrade that gives you the purples. Or collector's edition. Hello. You okay? Oh. Hello again. Why are you so shy? Um. Bless you. Mole's in charge here, not me. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, are you sure you don't want to like talk to someone in my party? Like maybe if Karlak talks to them, he won't be so scared. Maybe. Oh. Oh. Hello oh. again. Um. Mole's in charge here. Okay, not me. that's all right. It's fine. You don't have to talk to me. It's Got okay. It. I understand. I need new pockets to pay. Never see us coming. The guild, hidden rulers of Valder's Gate. The book's central argument is encapsulated in a chapter devoted to Rilsa Rail, guild kingpin of Little Kalimshan. Another time and another place, Rilsa Rail would be celebrated as a revolutionary. In Baldur's Gate, in her own lifetime, she's been known as a crime lord, a kingpin of the guild, ruling over the city, within a city that is the district known as Little Kalim Shan. Rhys's story began when she was orphaned at a young age. Her father was hanged by the Flaming Fist for sheltering his fugitive brother. Soon after, her mother was denounced by the jealous wife of a patriarch and imprisoned in a sea tower where she perished. Alone in the world, she had learned two valuable lessons. When the law is corrupt, it is a necessity for those without the support of its enforcers to act outside it. And when law is brutal, it is an ethical duty to act against it. Operating from within the Kalim Jewel Emporium, Rilsa knows the value of everything and everyone that moves through Baldur's Gate. She controls a wide network of agents who observe and track the exchange of goods and information as closely as any merchant or politician. But secondhand knowledge is cheap. Rilsa's real trick is to draw those with secrets to share directly into her orbit. At her Garden of Whispers, information can be shared with the guild anonymously. Anyone with a grudge to bear or a competitor to bring low, that is to say anyone of importance, can ensure that the whole city knows of their grievance. It is said that if somebody speaks of your weak spot in the garden at dawn, you can expect to find a knife buried in that exact spot. 
before night falls. Ooh, okay, let me take that book. I like that book. Steal? That counts as stealing. Oh no. I'm just appreciating literature. It's not stealing. You don't look so tough. Mole thought of a hobgoblin all by herself. Wow. That's really cool. Tell me more. Um, Mole, you're the leader of this little gang, are you? Well, look who's come to visit. My kids say you've been busy since you got here. You saved Arabella from the druids. Mm-hmm. Don't know what those bastards would have done. Are you friends with her? And thanks for going easy on Sylphie. Not many marks would have done the same. Happy to help. Why are you running all these schemes and swindles? It's risky, you know. You better keep these kids in check. They won't get off so lightly forever. It is risky. What if someone catches you? The druids won't be happy about it. I mean, look what happened to Arabella. We're saving up for a better hideout when we get to Baldur's Gate. Oh. Why? You planning on telling me stealing is wrong? And stealing from bad people is good. I mean, quite the opposite. I want to invest in the newest thieves guild on the Sword Coast. I'm not your mother, do as you please. I mean... Stealing is bad in certain situations. If the people you're stealing from deserve it, I would say that's absolutely fine. You are taking advantage during bad times, though. And there are words for folk like that. I mean, you're stealing from your own people sometimes, or are you just stealing from the druids? Because that makes a difference. It's kind of mean anyway. I don't know, I think I've got to chastise you. Just a little bit, just a tiny bit. So what? Should we be panicking like everyone else? We have a plan. We're the ones who'll end up on top in the gate. Anything else? Aww. I admire her drive. She really believes in this. Well, I thought you might be able to help me with something. I do, as a matter of fact. Revenge. Oh. You saw what those bastards that run the place were doing to Arabella, scaring the precious might. I want to steal that big, shiny idol they're all oh. chanting at. I mean, that seems kind of dangerous. I could help you get it, but my time is valuable to me. An idol, what do you do with something like that? Well, it'll stop the ritual, that's what it'll do. The important thing is to get it away from them. Oh no. That ritual's gonna get us all killed. And we can sell it once we get to the city. Thing like that's got to be worth a small fortune. I mean, it's not a bad idea, but, you know, surely we can get everyone into the grove and then do the ritual, and that's probably a better way to do it. I could help you get it. I'll, if I say I'll see, I'm not really agreeing to anything. I'm just saying I'll see. Pretty sure I want to do this the above board way with Halcyn, though. I'll see, okay? Be careful. They look as brittle as old bark. But they're vicious. Anything else? Do you have anything to trade, actually? Oh, she's literally got a couple apples and pears. That's all they've managed to wrangle from people. She's not making bad gold, though. Like, that's not too shabby for a child. I'm quite impressed. Anything else? Not really. Good luck. You've been a friend to us. Come back anytime. Oh, thanks. Aww. There's a mirror there as well. Hello. Herman, is that you? You're the first grown-up who's ever gotten in here. Not bad. <laughs> yeah, not too shabby. Oh, the Fables of Faerun. Another volume. There were once two sisters. One a great fighter, and one a great cleric, who longed for a new adventure. Oh, we've read this, I think. I can read it again, though. I shall skewer an elder brain upon my sword, cried the fighter, to the Underdark. I wish to know the secrets of the brain's powers, said the cleric. Let us be off. In the recesses of the deep, the sisters slew darklings and darrow, bugbears and bullets. The two reached an illithid colony when the fourth ten day passed. Their quest would soon be complete. With great effort, they felled a half dozen mind flayers and soon reached the Elder Brain's lair. 
It rose from the brine pool at the centre of its chamber, flanked by illithids. The brain did not speak aloud, but the sisters could hear it in their minds. We're going to own that town. I am called Kraos. Why have you come? I will make your powers my own, called the cleric. I will crush you and bring an end to your tyranny, said the fighter. The brain hovered in silence. A moment later, a burst of psionic energy shook the chamber, and the sisters lay dead. Good luck, Quails replied. The Lithids feasted heartily that day. We do love a happy ending. Oh, we love to see it. Let me put that one in my story collection. Oh, well, that counts as stealing. Damn it. <laughs> Fine. No law for me. Is there anything down here or is it just a chasm? I think it's just a chasm. Can confirm it is a chasm. Carlac got a glow up. Anything else in here? No, it's just like a little den. I'm just enjoying the chasm. There might be more up here, though. This kind of looks like the Albert layout. Ooh, there will be something up here, I think. Go on, Karlak. Whoa! Big jump for a big lady. Yeah. These stash. Oh. I don't want to steal from their stash. Moles worked so hard to get that stash. Can I get across here? It seems like a long way. They miss me. I don't think there's anything up here, but I thought I'd try anyway, just in case. Don't want to knock myself prone, so we'll go back this way. Whee! Oh, that's a long jump. Oops, that might hurt. Sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Uh, this goes up here. Okay, that's the hatch ladder. I think there's another way in as well. This must go to the other little opening that I saw, maybe. Yeah. Ah, handy. Let me at it. Well, you can't use this right now. Oh, rude. That's a nice little cave. I'd live down here with them. They seem like some trustworthy children. Definitely wouldn't stab me in the back. I think I'm going to try and save Halston, but I would like to see how it goes if you steal that idol. How the heck you would do it? I don't know. Oh, wait. No, they've all stopped chanting. They've all stopped. And there's not really anyone guarding it, so you, you could steal the idol right about now. I think because it's been a few long rests, they've all left. Mm. Hey, Sea Blob! Welcome too. on in. The druids don't care about us. No one does. We have to look after ourselves. Is that Arabella? That's what Mole says. Hello. <sighs> I'm never going to hear the end of this. If I'd got that stupid idol, I'd be a hero. Sorry. You were caught. You could have been killed. What kind of hero did you expect to be? A heroic thief? Mum? Dad? Mole? They all would have been so impressed. Aww. Mole said we had to do something. Because the old folks weren't doing anything. They were talking when the druids were getting ready to throw us out. Why can't we just stay in until it's safe? They don't like you. They're racist, that's why. Also, I know about what's going on now. I wonder if I can... Oh! Oh, they've all come back. Okay. <laughs> I wonder if I can confront... The druid leader. You should try it. Lay down and bask in its warmth. No. At the ready. F5. We found that letter, didn't we? As far as I know. Hello, Silver. Something's on my mind. Why are you here? I sent you to Zevlor. Sorry. 
Mm, no. Okay, I guess I didn't find it yet in this playthrough. I think it's in a swamp, actually. But it says that Kaga plans to work with the Shadow Druids. Oh, wait, I'm able to get up here? What the heck? There's got to be a reason why it's like this. Interesting. Can I jump across to here or something? No. Yes. Yeah, has got his misty stuff. No. They've chosen to put a place where I can crawl up here. So I'm like, what is hiding? What is hiding around here that I have missed? Hmm. Mysteries, I tell you. With haste. Great mysteries. All's well that ends not as bad as it. Ridiculous. Could. We just let her run off. She's a child. A devil child. One who tried to steal from us. Excuse me? Yet she failed. That's what matters. Ex do you want to talk to me about that? You seem to have a lot of rage. Should you have an ounce I'm of a sense, druid. You will leave immediately. You will shut your trap is what you'll do. Let me read your book. Ah, oh, it's not even a good book. And you're a terrible person. Cut, disgusting. I swear there's something secret back here. I have a vague memory of there being something hidden here. Hmm. Oi. Oh, sorry, guys. Didn't mean to shut you out. Sorry. Hmm. There's more. There's more. I know there's a door in here that leads down. All be over. The rituals. But we probably should go and find Halson. See if we can do this the lawful way. We take I wonder if it's possible to steal the idol and then kind of hold the idol hostage and be like, okay, we'll give you the idol back, but only if you let the refugees stay and be protected. I do wonder if that's a possibility, but I don't want to mess things up. Hmm. Oh, Bosky's still sleeping. You're curious. Oh. You've got a great many odors about you. What happened to you? Oh, so many things. I'll tell you. He listens rapt, hanging on every word. As you near the end of your tale, you see his attention drift as he licks his lips, thinking about something else entirely. Food. I love some food. He's licking his lips. There's a bucket of fish over there if you want it. Ah, oh, I forgot we could go this way and I remember what is this way. Saves game. <laughs> I want to get into some combat. We haven't had combat today. I've just been wandering around talking to people. I want to mess some stuff up. That's what I want to do. <gasps> Lo, what is that beautiful singing? Is there a maiden down by the water? Oh, oh, that's beautiful. It is. Hmm, let's go see. Oh, hello. F5. Hi. Shh, listen. Listen quietly. A sweet melody plays above the waves, beckoning you, drowning out all logical thought. Literally drowning. I will struggle against the music's pull with plus three wisdom. Okay. Steal the idol, you can always reload. Now stealing the idol isn't gonna be that easy because there's druids surrounding it, so. You'd have to think of a creative way to do it. I wonder if we could use Mage Hand in some way. Or will they see Mage Hand? The suffocating yearning suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. Get back! It's a trick! No, no. 
It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. No! Just a little closer. No, 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 no! And there they are. Whoa! Harpy's got sexy. Yes, everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Oh, no. No, stop him. Grab him. Grab him. Oh. I swear they, the models didn't look like that before, did they? They look really cool. Okay. Who's starting? Starry. Uh, Starry, you better stealth. It's good for you. Just like old times. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. That's, that, okay, that didn't work out then. Great. Waste, wasted your action, Starry. You disappoint me. Okay, then just do just do a range shot if you can. Get a little bit closer. Just a tiny bit. There you go. Ah, oh, not enough for his sources. Damn it. Um, so he's going to keep on walking, I think, because he's charmed and he wants to get to them. <gasps> no! Oh, get away! Get away! Get away! Ah! Ah! Ow! Oh, at least they missed. Filthy scavengers. Oh, they rolled on 18. They need a 15 to hit. I can re-roll. No, you didn't roll a 15. You rolled a 1. Yeah, critical miss. Take that. I love that Gail can do that. Oh, no. Run away. Ow. Okay, Gail. Do your thing. What are you going to do? Uh, Protect the child. A ray of frost is good, but I don't know if this is a situation. Which ball? Which ball is good? Although if he gets interrupted, it's not so good. What are they weak to? The harpy can make a multi-attack if the location, if the target is lured. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Slap it. You could thunder wave. Although it pushes away all creatures and objects, including us. So, the classic wizard problem. Uh, I say, topple them, knock it prone. But that's like a that's like a deck. So he's not gonna be great at that. Oh fuck it! Forty-two percent chance to hit it. You're literally right in front of it, Gail. What's wrong with you? He's got disadvantage on it for some reason. Okay, then. Ray of Frost? 42%! What? Damn it. He's lured with the luring song. Oh, no. And he's threatened. Um, so he's got disadvantage on ranged attack rolls. Well, that's fun. Maybe just whack it. Try, try the topple. Oh my god, it worked! Hooray! Knock it prone. It doesn't really seem to be prone, but I guess it can't fly now. So that's something. I mean, shove it. Yeah! Whoa, Gale, strength god. Look at that. I'll be honest, if they sang this song at me, I'd be pretty fucked. Me too. It's so pretty... So enchanting. Okay, let's do, 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 do. Insight and distract. Uh, I might in web with spider. <laughs> I hate it. I hate. I hate spiders. I really do. Oh, oh, oh! Just the way its legs moving. No. No, I hate it. I hate it. Uh, like genuinely, if I see a spider, like my skin just starts crawling. Um, slap it, and then, yeah, ven venomous bite. Uh, Harpy needs thirteen to save. They rolled fifteen. Oh, no, you didn't. You rolled an eleven. Ha ha! Sucker. Sucks to be you. But they're so cute. No! I hate it. <laughs> okay. Who this? Ah, you. Yes, go smash. Smash this one, I guess. Since it's right here. 
I love that spell. <laughs> so good. Okay, move so a little good. bit closer if you can. Oh no, I didn't mean to move past. Oops, oops, oops. Oh well. He resisted. Don't eat the harpy now because you'll get diseased, I guess. Where's the child? Where's the child? Oh god, oh god, the child's being lured by this one. Uh, Starry, shoot it, shoot it. That might interrupt it. Did it save? Ah, it succeeded. So it has to concentrate to do the song. Oh no, this one's even closer. I didn't see that one. Oh, but uh, if I can, I'll like dash towards it. Like just, can I body block the child? Like Astarian's putting himself on the line for the children. He cares. No! <laughs> Have you ever seen a jumping spider with a water droplet on its head? It's adorable. I don't know. Like, maybe in certain situations you could see a cuteness to a spider, but... Yeah. When I can see hairs and eyes and... No, thanks. I'm a spider. Okay, can I web people now? Can I web the child? Can I wear both of them? I don't think this will hurt him. And then he can't move. Did he resist the web? Oh no, it didn't count because he's technically not an enemy. Okay. Nom nom nom. <laughs> Finish them. Yeah. Take that, fool. Okay. Nothing else to do, really. The other harpy went this way. They're high up somewhere. Starry, save the child, my dear. Eight damage. Terrible. You shock me. Uh, I need to stop them. The, the web should do some work, hopefully. I don't think Starry can do much else, to be honest. So let's pop him here. Oh, there's the other one. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, double attack. Because he's in, in enchanted by the song. Jumping spiders are the cutest. Mox on a grease. Oh, I don't know. I don't know if they'll ever warm me. I don't like the spiders. 12 damage. Arure. Oh, he saved on the song. He's fighting with us now. In. I'll web you too. Get erect. Can spiders climb? I guess. Usually they can climb walls. I should probably send her over to help. Uh, she can do a ranged attack as well. If I move a little bit closer. Ah, oh, missed. She's not the best with ranged weapons, I guess. Okay, close to the child, Karlak. Starry again saving. Very nice. See if we can hit them with ranged again. Got him! Nicely done, Starry. The theme has changed to the victory theme. We're allowed to see it. Okay, let's finish off the others. Are there more around here? Doesn't look like it for now. Okay, Starry. Off you dash. Get going. Get stabbing. Lowering song again. It got Gale. He's going to be rubbish at hitting things now. I'll be another spell slot, but... Ah, he's just bad at it. Yeah, yeah, the chance is so low. I shouldn't have tried. This is fine. You stay there.
Web it again. Yeah. Fuck yes. <laughs> I love you, Karlak. Okay. Let's see if she can get up there. Ah. Uh, aye, aye. It takes her longer to move through water because it's, it's difficult terrain, so. He'll get up there, though. And he resisted the song. It's not stealth, though. Stealth, my boy. On the hunt. Right. Can you get a stab in now as well? Oh! Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, ow. Okay, Gail, can you be useful now? Or are you still going to be useless? You're still going to be useless, aren't you? You have a 45% chance to hit. 65 with that now, though. You know, that's, that's pretty nice. Yeah, okay, okay. Take the firebolt. Do the firebolt. There we are. He's helping us now. He's like, yeah, I'll fight with you. Is he running away? Oh, don't be scared, child. We got this. We got this. Kind of. I hope he's not scared of spiders. <laughs> okay, Carla, go up and help. Can you do the bash? Or the cleave? Carla, grow one. No. Uh, reckless attack. Let's go. Yeah. Seeing as we're going to finish them next turn anyway. And shove. Yeah. Lovely. Astarian, end this. He can do it. Yeah, there's not much left anyway. He could just do a casual normal attack and kill it. Okay, they're, they're gone. Stop sniveling or they'll be back. They like tasty little tiefling kids. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> are, are they gone? Yeah, they are. Um, They're gone. Are you okay? No. Yes. I mean, I don't know. You sure? Hmm. Come on, it's all right. Take a breath. Deep and slow. You're safe now. Uh, that's what the voice said. I almost got to the nest, but the singing. I need to get back. Mo will be so mad. I love his hair. It's so Wait, fluffy. Um, you should meet Mo. She'll be grateful you helped me. Oh, we already met. Find We're a buddies. Boy called Donny. Tell him you want to see the dragon's lair. I've seen the lair. It was great. I'm going to go down there all the time. You're going to know me very well. That scamp reminds me of myself when I was a nipper. Always getting into trouble. I bet you were. Met with a lot of harpies, did you? Yeah, somehow I can imagine that as a child. Can't stand children like that. Children? Oh! I can imagine that. Comes with the territory. One time, my parents denied me a kitten, so I summoned myself a tressim. Ah, oh, dear old Tara. Beautiful creature. <laughs> Benefits of a wizard's education, you see. Of course, my considerable talent didn't hurt either. Wow. Well, that depends on who you ask, I suppose. I may have summoned things rather more exotic than a winged cat. Do you still have the winged cat? Well, such as. Come on, give us some examples. There was that magma method once. Nice fellow, we kept in touch. Of course, in walked the housekeeper, screaming, yelling, panic, and before you know it, Fire everywhere. Great. Anyway, I'm glad we got that boy out of his predicament. Poor lad would have been happy so for humble. you if it wasn't for us. So incredibly humble. Lovely. Thank, thanks for that, Gail. Let's loot these harpies. Gail is the ultimate Chad, king of Chads. Pile of 
bones. There is a harpy's nest here somewhere. Ooh, there's a treasure chest down here. Yoink! Let's go get that. Don't mind if I do. And it's not even locked. Ha ha ha! There's more here. I'm sure there is. What's inside? Yeah, I'm trying to remember where the actual nest is. It is actually over here. Somewhere. Chasm. Oh, lovely. Love a chasm. Oh, it's over here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's over there. Okay. Just check this side first and make sure there's nothing hiding from me. I think we're good. Was that a chest? Yes, we've already opened it. We took all the goodies that are inside. There was just some gold inside, which always comes in useful. <laughs> Chessy, you've got some stuff. No, you haven't. <laughs> Lovely. Hey, Bo, do you like harpies? I'm sorry I killed them all. Polished dagger. Is that any better than Starry's ones? Three to six. Standard. Mmm, bones. Oh, lovely. Mmm, rib cages. Lovely. That'll come in useful. Never know when you're going to need a ribcage or two. Okay, Gale. Elminster's not around. Can you just misty? So well. Any misty over there? You can get there from the bottom, I think. Um, but he could just misty step onto here. Wee! I'm lazy. <laughs> Target's too far. Wee! Miriam, oh, I'm sorry it's been so long since I've written. A lot has happened. First, some good news. Maggie Two Fingers won't be bothering you anymore. I paid her back, in full. I'm sorry, she never should have got your name in the first place. Now for the bad news. My love, I'm not coming home. Not for a while, at least. The money came from a mercenary group. Probably best I don't give their name. And I've agreed to do a couple of jobs in Icewind Dale in return. They pay me up front because... God, it's so strange to write it. Because they needed a warlock. They needed me. I took the deal the can be offered. I'm not going to say I had no choice because that would be a lie, but I don't regret it. I'm a new man. I feel strong for the first time in my life. Aside from being awoken in the middle of the night by the smell of sulfur, he likes to drop by to see how everything's going. I have no complaints. I bet he's having it on with the devil. Mm -hmm. If you don't reply to this letter, I understand. And if you don't want to me to come back after all, well, uh, I guess I understand that too. I love you, Miriam, and I want you to be happy. Even if it's not with me. Edmund. I bet he's having hanky-panky with his patron. <gasps> Colour spray! Oh, Gail can do that by himself, but... It's, it's good to have it. I think that means that I can just do it whenever I want to. Cool. Thank you. Color spray. Well, Gail, I'm using all your spell slots doing this. Uh, <laughs> how do you plan on getting back? Good luck, mate. Uh, oh, yeah, well, you're good. You're good. You could have just jumped normally. Yes. You're just lazy. Mm. 
secrets. Arcane recovery. Yeah, he's got that at the moment, actually. We'll probably end up taking another rest before we get into more trouble, though, because there's a lot of health missing. Okay, everyone, group up. Let's get on the road again. Don't break your knees getting down here, though. Be careful. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Swift as my feet can carry me. Hmm, this looks suspicious. I wonder why there are these conveniently placed stepping stones here. Hmm. I'm so glad that we can't fail athletics checks like That's that. Curious. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. Ah. No hope of clearing this without a shovel. Do I have one? I might have picked one up without even realizing it. Oh. Shovel. Hello. No. <laughs> I'll find a shovel. I'm sure I can buy one as well. I'm going to mark this on my map. And we'll be back. I'm wondering if there's anything behind the wall. Oh, oh, it goes all the way back to Druid's Grove. Okay. There's always secrets behind waterfalls. That doesn't seem to be here, though. Hmm. Fun fact, a spoon is a shovel for food. Yeah, we should just use the ladle that we looted last time. I'm sure that would work. I'm salty because I can literally transform into a badger. But the badger can't dig it up somehow. Secluded Cove, F5. <gasps> Wait a second, is she still up here? I hope she is. I hope we didn't miss her because we've taken a few long rests before we came here. Let's go have a look. It sounds amazing. She's playing for the squirrels. It hurts! It hurts! <laughs> Please, make it stop! <laughs> they hate her singing! What's wrong? Can't you hear it? Her, her singing. singing. It's awful. She's amazing. Terrible. She's got such a lovely voice. Moon stars all remind me of your grace. I can sing along off key. Let's go. Don't mock her. She's trying her best. Yeah, I'm gonna sing along. Dance among the stars tonight. Da -da -da -da, fade away. No. You're, You're so welcome. Us. My hair then leave. is melting. I'm leaving before the damage is permanent. Bye. Oh, there we go. You didn't even know that they hated your singing, and I'm not going to tell you. Hi, Alfira. Long time no see. Dance upon the stars tonight. Come on, Smile bit more confidence. And pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Become. It's okay. You just need to, like, do it with some welly. It's, it's that you're nervous. Just just own it. What's that tune that you're singing? More like butchering. 
Don't know why I bother. Oh, come on. The animals agreed. Why else do you think they left? No, don't tell her. Are you okay? No, I'm moments away from a grisly death. At the hands of this bloody song. I can't... Nothing fits, you know? The struggles of an artist. Let me see if I can help. That's the creative process for you. Agony and ecstasy. Well, mostly agony. Why are you songwriting now? Yeah, you need to be concerned for your safety, but I, I'm going to empathize with the plight of the artist. True. And when you finally perfect a song, there's nothing like it. But when you're stuck and it's just getting worse, oh. Can I help you finish the song? Hmm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot, if you want. Hmm. First things first, what is this song about? We can perform together. I think I'm bad, though. <laughs> what is this song about? My teacher, Lihala. She loved dancing. Her two left feet mind. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her dancing beneath the stars. A huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts. And my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait. Words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Pretty good. Nod an encouragement and gesture to her loot. Keep going. What? What would? I mean, can I? Can I try and play? I'll. I'll do my best. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Here we go. I love this song. You're gonna be famous. Stars 
sorry. I just had a little cry. I don't know if you saw that single tear running down my cheek. It's such a beautiful song. I, I can never listen to that without getting full body shivers going through me as well. It's just so beautiful. And she has such a lovely voice. And it's just very emotional for me hearing that song again. Because I heard it at the very beginning of Early Access. And oh, it's so nice to, to hear it again. It reminds me how far this game has come. Thank you so much. That was that was beautiful. Worthy of a few tears. <laughs> Thanks. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. No. <laughs> Didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. That sounds terrible, I'm sorry. Hardly a unique tale of woe these days. Tough enough, or you won't last. Well, you come up with a fine tribute to her. I'm sure she'd be proud to see you now. <laughs> she'd yell at me for that clunky verse. And make me play till my fingers were raw. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. Finish the Weeping Dawn. For her. I've a long way to go. Weeping Dawn. But thank you. Uh, I needed this. That was so beautiful. I hope she plays another song in the later acts as well. It's still rough, but my song is getting there. Can I hear it again? Aww. Well, let me know when you finished it. Uh, also, her hair is amazing. It's still rough. That is pretty but my nice song hair. Is getting there. Top tier hair. Oh. And Stefan, no stars to life. Oh, an orange. Thank you so much. The book is a clear progress. Work in progress. Wait, 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 wait. The work is a clear work in progress, though already extensive, chronicling various musical styles Don't and notation from across the stars. Tonight, Amid the orderly symbols and blackened away. ink, one page Words stands out. It's a wash in colour and meandering arcs. The script below reads, My Kinid Song by Ogma. I hear it and I see it and I know it and I feel it, but I can't write it, or can I? Hmm. Was that her tip bowl? Maybe. Didn't have anything in it though. No one's given her tips. I wonder if I can put something in it. I uh, put a gold in there for her. Here you go. I uh, put it in there. What's hiding here? There you go. You can have my gold. There you go. Happy busking. I enjoyed it. You made me cry though, so screw you. Oh. Ah, feelings. Ah, be gone. Be gone, feelings. You fiends. Sorry, treasure. Careful, I might. Mm, please do. Anytime you like. Oh, for a skeleton key. Here we go. Cap of curing, oh, milady, that's a fine cap. When you inspire an ally using bardic inspiration, they also regain one to six hit points. We don't have a bard yet, but okay. Call the last light down. Yeah, she's getting better. Stealing from a struggling How artist, no, I it tipped her. I gave her a gold. It was a pity that your lesson in the weave ended so soon, Gail. I was enjoying our moment alone. Do you think about us being alone again? Do you? Uh, 
sometimes, I guess, you know. I just want to learn some magic, though. I just... I'm not interested in you, Chad. So do I. All right. You see, I'm not a big believer in fate, but I do believe in serendipity. Mm -hmm. Life is a tempest of events that sometimes we brace against and sometimes embrace. How many times have you used that line on oh, women? One such event, Pat. Oh, come on. Fuck one off. One day soon, perhaps. <sighs> I'd like to embrace. Oh, oh, oh. That's so cheap. Yo, how many women has that worked on, Gail? Oh, I just imagine him at a bar sidling up to someone in Baldur's Gate City and being like, I do believe in destiny. We aren't smashing Gale, are we? No. No. I just wanted to play with him. <sighs> well, bye. No thanks, I'm good. No smashy smashy. The gods are watching me. Gale throwing out the puns, serendipity. Serendipity is the name of one of my D&D &D characters, actually. <laughs> Happy chance. Happy circumstance. Wonder who actually sung that? I don't know if it's the same person who did Down by the River, but, but... The tag of the person who did Down by the River, because I just followed them today. They are... Da -da -da, Malethiel. A Malethiel. Um, I don't know if they also did that song. They might have. But it's spelt like this. Malethiel. There you go. And they are on TikTok as well. Yeah, I'd rather not smash Gale. He's he's too boring for me. He's too straightforward. Okay, I'm gonna try something for fun, right? I've saved the game. So if, if one was to summon a mage hand, right? Could that mage hand potentially go and steal the idol? Would they know it's my mage hand? Would they know? How would they know? Oh, I can't get in there. Oh, oh, I can, I can. Okay, okay. And if I were to just like, can't be added to your inventory, throw it, <laughs> throw it. Throw it out the grove. Come on, come on. Can't reach destination. What? Seriously? Oh, come on. I can get to it, but it won't let me have it. I can do small throws. I can go like. Doo -doo 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 what? No. What? The time has come. No. Remove the outsiders. <laughs> How did you know it was my mage hand? It could have been anyone's mage hand, bitch. It could have been anyone's. It's not mine. Mm -mm. All mage hands look the same. It's not mine. But that is the scene that like prompts the druids to attack the tiefling. So uh, not the one we want. What if you stealth and do it well? The thing is. Hmm, can the mage hand even stealth? Does it have the ability to stealth? Also, it, it's gonna be in the line of sight of all the druids who are channeling around here, so... Okay, I'm gonna do something stupid. Uh, no, I don't have, I don't have enough to wild shape at the moment, uh, but I can turn into a cat and then that distracts people. Um, is the mage hand invisible? I guess they saw the idol moving, and that was that was the thing. Okay, it's stealthy now. <laughs> Shh, it's stealthy. I guess they see it move, and that's the difference. Like they can all clearly see the idol right now. They know if it's gonna move. I'm stealthy now. Yeah, no, it's it's in their line of sight. As soon as it moves, right? Surely, yeah. The outlander serves Sevlor. I'll serve you death. Well, the only way is to distract them all somehow. So, yeah. Only arcane trickster has stealth me a chant. He was stealthing because when I pressed crouch, he was moving more slowly. So the solution must be to kill them all. That is also an option, but I do wonder. I do wonder if there's an easy way to get it. There might be. Um... I shapeshift into someone else and then they can't know it's me. 
Uh, <laughs> everyone go around the corner, right? I'll shapeshift and then I will claim th that I'm an entirely different person. If they arrest me, I am not me. I am I am a, an orc or something. I don't know. Okay, let's try it. Okay. Shapeshift. Uh, not a tiefling because then they'll be under suspicion. Get the Yankee. A dwarf. I'm a dwarf. Blame the dwarves. Hello, I'm here. I'm a dwarven female. Let me in. Hey, hey, hello. Don't mind my funny mask. Nothing to see here. I can't stealth in, but I mean, I can walk in. I'll just be like, do, 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 do. Can I not? Can I not? There is a very specific point where I can walk in, I think. At least the mage hand got in this way. Hi, everyone. Hello. The idol. It's gone. Oh no! <laughs> oh, damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Okay, okay, okay. Right. Here's the thing. I think no matter how it's stolen, they're always going to assume it's the tieflings because they don't trust the tieflings and there's already that hatred of the tieflings there. So even if we were able to steal it and no one caught us, I think it would still start war with the tieflings. So I don't think it's gonna work, but it was worth a try. Kill the tieflings, kill everyone. I wonder if I can just kill everyone, tieflings and druids, and just leave with all of their loot. <laughs> Tis the evil way. Can I not save right now? Oh, I can. Let's do a big save. There we go. Big save. 